Hello, welcome to Breath of Life Development. My name is Josh Foreman. No, wait, ha! Gotcha, fooled you. Just kidding. My name's Josh Foreman, and uh, this this is a little caricature based on a, a character from a game that I work on. Uh, you can check it out. I'll, I, I guess I'll post a link. Why not? Um, and a video you should check out over there uh, that goes into the making of the, the 3D print and the full like rigmarole that went into this. But anyway, I had several copies made. My, my partner Fizz cast some up for me so that I could send these to friends and coworkers who helped to develop this character and bring them to life in the game. Um, but here I'm just doing a quick one just about different kinds of chromey type effects that uh, you can airbrush on your character. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. I started by base coating just with spray paint black. It was flat black, I believe, from Army Painter Primer. And then I wanted to go over that with this Spastix Ultimate Black Backer. The idea being that this is a really glossy black. Generally, uh, to get a really shiny chrome, you want a glossy black on the background. Not sure what the deal was. I was not able to get these as shiny as I hoped. Uh, when it's wet, it's plenty shiny, but um, yeah, I kind of had mixed results there. These are the main uh, chromes that I'm trying to begin with, and we're going to add to this a little bit later. So I'm starting out with the spastics here, just slowly building it up. It's pretty light coat, and uh, the glossy black does most of the work in the background there. One of the challenging things here is trying to get an even coat over everything that's not 100% covering the black. You don't want it 100% over, that takes away the reflective black underneath. Here you can see I'm having issues trying to get a nice shiny coverage uh, with either of these. Um, here's an example where it works pretty well and where it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and just recover this one and use a rattle can, just some Rust-Oleum Silver and see how that works out. With this stuff, you gotta build it up really heavy to get a very shiny result, which means it tends to drip, so I'm just gonna rotate it. <laughs> Just keep rotating it like a 7-Eleven hot dog. Okay, now I'm trying some of this holographic all clad. It's pretty cool how it starts getting rainbowy right away. And again, there's this fine line where you want to stop adding more before it kills the reflective black behind it. And it's hard to get every angle, get the same um, coverage over every angle. But overall, I'm really tickled with this effect. I wish it wasn't speckly like that, but it's still cool. And you can see, here's the same paint, but it just looks very different on these two different parts. And I think some of that just comes down to, you know, the difference in coverage, or maybe the primer wasn't perfect on one. Love that rainbow. I just want to taste it. And 
then just assemble these guys with some super glue and some epoxy clay. Now, some of these just, I don't know, I wasn't super impressed with. And I remembered that I had this chrome pin thing to try. Uh, so painting the chrome over the chrome didn't do a great job. Um, but I do have these refills of it. And I thought, you know what, what if I just like literally paint it on? Uh, the brush was leaving strokes, so I thought I'd just go ahead and try dousing the whole thing. And you can see it's pretty shiny. There are plenty of imperfections on it. A little more than with airbrushing, but not significantly more. Yeah, for whatever reason, the Molotow Liquid Chrome, I could not airbrush it well. It never came out shiny. And here we've got the final results. I'm going to show this in a couple different lighting conditions so you get a good sense for it. there you have it. I'm not, uh, you know, super tickled as far as like having something that I feel I can consistently reproduce and be happy with, but I've got something that's, yeah, it's fine. It's good enough for now. Someday the perfect product will come up, come out. That's just like, I don't know, a magic wand. You just touch your sculpture and it becomes perfectly mirrored chrome. But until that day, this is the best I was able to pull off. Now there's another technique I need to look into where you're, um, rubbing, uh, lead carbon something I I, ha I have it I just haven't really dug into the process yet I'll, I'll get to that in a future video I'm sure anyway thank you so much to my patrons uh, real quick again I'm gonna ask one more time can you please sign up for my newsletter if you don't mind getting a email from me once every couple of weeks I'd really appreciate it it's gonna help me launch a Kickstarter that I'm getting really excited about and uh, I, yeah I could just really use your help in that little endeavor all right, we will see you next time, everyone. Bye. Uh, fun fact, my wife ordered this shirt for me off, you know, some stupid website that algorithmically makes shirts or something. And uh, the, the text that she saw, thought was on the front of the shirt is actually on the back of the shirt. So I'm wearing the shirt backwards because it would be really weird to like talk to you like this so you could see the text on. That would be weird, right? I'm just checking because I could do that next time. Uh, I do a video. I could do it completely in this orientation if that's if that works for you guys. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if this is a better presentation method. Thank you and see you next time.